on hit post. Hello, and welcome to Beyond the Rift, where it is one day before my birthday, November 15th, 2011. Tomorrow I'll be 29! Yay, I'm getting old. <laughs> he really so, almost just forgot that. I did. Sorry. <laughs> there are times that I... Anyway, go ahead. Introduce everybody, Rebel, since you never get to do it. We're going to be on the Rift. Uh, with us today, we have a four-court jester, Vaniel. Phantom Lord is joining us again. <laughs> what? Yeah, I, 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 just I, I flipped the I, bird to everyone. I, <laughs> <continue>. <laughs> I see it. And uh, we have our special guest today is Chowster. We might also have uh, Hotshot GG joining us uh, later in the show. So, uh, this is Chalister. You've probably seen him in uh, some of the finals in um, many of the recent tournaments. He's always up there doing his thing. So, Chalister, yeah. tell us a little bit about yourself. Who you are. Uh, I'm what 23 team? years old. Ugh. I'm on Counter Logic Gaming, uh, one of the top teams in North America. And we've been a team, and we've basically been one of the first teams in the League of Legends scene. And we've been around for a little bit over a year now. Nice. And we've been, yeah. Nice, cool, nice. So he's gonna be joining. And you so. play AP mid, right? Yeah. Um, recently, I okay, I played AD bottom, and then recently we switched it up, and now I'm playing AP mid. So yeah. beastly Zareth. <laughs> All right. So uh, we have to uh, ask you first off, uh, what have you played Fizz any yet? Uh no, I haven't actually. I haven't had much time to solo queue recently because now we're actually scrimming and stuff. We're trying to get some practice in. And eventually, especially with like the new the new patch, it's like season two masteries. Like, yeah. I'm pretty sure the competitive scene's not going to be using this for a while, so they're just going to keep on the turning around. So there's no point to really practice on the live patch. Hmm. I see. Very nice. So, uh, since you mentioned on practice, how do you guys practice on your team? Like, do you do solo queues? Do you do a group queuing? Do you uh, do five v fives versus other people that you know? Uh, ideally, we would like to scrim, and in the past few weeks, we haven't really been able to. Mm -hmm. But like we're starting to we're starting to scrim again, and practice can either be like five five man scrims, or maybe you can still in solo queue and play a champion you're not that accustomed to. So that basically, as long as you play and you don't play useless stuff, then you're practicing. Nice, nice. Uh, what's your favorite hero to play with, or your best, I should say? Mm -hmm. Favorite? I think Elise is still my favorite character. Because yeah, you just you just keep spamming buttons, you never stop pressing buttons. That's why it's nice. And yeah. You really do like you can really do like a lot of flashy stuff with like wards and stuff. Like you can go, you can move like two full screens if you do it right, and stuff like that. Yeah, he is a lot of fun, especially in, and especially deadly in uh, trained hands, as people with swords generally are. All right. So, uh, Jester, any uh, news this week? Starting off. Uh, well, Rampage is all done, so in that terms, like, Dignitas took the cake, yep. TSM tried to take the Kings out one last shot, but I mean, they're just too strong. Just too so strong. I think they won every single prize for every single week for Dignitas. Like, <laughs> I don't think anybody else got any money out of it. Ouch. Nope. Ouch. Oh, yeah. yeah. They were the first ones up and stayed on top. Well, when, when you keep winning, you keep winning. <sighs> Yep. Mm. Fun stuff. But other than that, we got MLG this week. Uh, Yay! Will not be there, will you, Chelsea? Ah, uh, no, we won't be there. Let's no. See. All that drama. Ugh. Yeah. Just... Yeah. Why did you guys run with Lilac? Like, isn't he out in Korea? Uh, I actually, it's really it wasn't my choice. Like, GG just made the decision. <laughs> like, oh, we need a ringer. We don't know who to get, and like no one really did anything about it. Only GD did. We picked Lilac. And I guess it just turned out not to be the best choice. <laughs> ah well, at least GG can now stay home and stream and make more money, anyways, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, we would we would have liked to go. Ideally, we would have went. But. Yeah, that's the that's the ongoing Reddit. But yeah, fun stuff. MOG Providence will be starting up in a few days. Freak and Rivington and Renoa, I believe, are all flying out tomorrow. Over to there, they're gonna set up their booth. Matt Marco, lots of networking opportunities for you summoners. Yeah, probably gonna be a lot of free opportunities for skins. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what they're gonna be running, although it'll probably just be Riot Nasus. I don't know of any other skins that they're taking. Yeah, they've been actually busy working on the observer mode to be making skins for once. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's an open beta. I'm so happy. Yeah, you can, you can do it now. So, it, That's what I've been doing. Yeah. do you like it just as much now? Yeah, you've been streaming a lot of uh, casted games of random people. 
just for Random practice. People. We had Rivington yesterday. He nice. Went Very nice. Top solo Olaf. Not hmm. what I would have done, but uh, was he was it successful? A shining star on his team as they went down in flames. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was fun though. It yeah, that fun. happens. Yeah, it happens. No worries. It's all good. Now, I have to wonder, though, with this new patch, you know, we got all these new masteries, we got Fizz, and all that fun stuff. Yeah. I can't imagine that they've updated the tournament realm for this weekend. Do you think Anybody they MOG Providence, right? Are they going to throw this bombshell a few days before the teams? I don't think they would. I don't think they would. The realm is not updated. It's going to stay the same on the yeah. group's patch. Yeah. Didn't they say this was a tournament release, or it just? They're, I doubt they're going to update it, but it is a tournament release, right? Yeah, I know it's a tournament release because they they it's even be the mentioned stable that. Stable Graves releases, but, I, in, uh, my, in my opinion, I, that's what I, they should stick Yeah, on. I don't think it'd be like four days before. I don't know. They'd be taking four after five, uh, however, after a Blizzard with that then one. It, <laughs> well, then again, though, if you think about it, there's. There's tournaments going on like almost every weekend now, so it's like yeah. when do they choose when a good time is? I mean, MLG's a biggie, so I doubt they'd do it, but don't put anything past. You never that. know. <laughs> well, even if they don't do it this week, they might be able to do it next week because they're not a DreamHack. Like they don't have any pressure to keep the same tournament for DreamHack because they're not going. Yeah, isn't Dota two taking their spot? Taking their spot, Quote, I don't know, but they've been invited. Yeah. Obi Wan is confirmed; he's going to be there. Heroes of New Earth will still be there. Bloodline Champion is still going to be there. Ten thousand dollar tournament. Hmm. Bring them Imagine that. But no, no law. I think this is the first dream hack with no law. In a while. Wow. Yeah, yeah, in a while. A year, two years. Wow. Well, that's where they made their big break, it seems. Interesting. So. Yeah, that's where we... COG rose to fame, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> as, he drowns, <laughs> as he drowns himself. WCG. WCG is where we got our... Yeah, but you thing. did the finals at DreamHack, didn't you? Oh, no, no. We were already pretty popular by the time DreamHack came. Okay. We weren't in the grand finals. We were just... We are in the DreamHack tournament. We finished, like, fifth place or something. Mm, for some reason, I kept thinking your very first tournament was DreamHack for some reason. I don't know. Uh, the very first big tournament win we got was WCG last year. Okay. I wasn't paying attention back then, so. <laughs> yeah, it's like all that time ago. Come a long way to you. Yeah. yeah, 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 we all have. So, uh, Phantom Lord, how goes things on your end? Pretty good. Um, just sort of relaxing. Um, going into the holiday season. Oh, yeah. Still have a retail job, so, of course... They require more of my time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, You're gonna be there for can't Black put it Friday. Towards, oh yeah, eleven hour shift. Oh. So oh. Good time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Good time. Uh, I actually enjoy it. It's pretty exciting. It's something else that's to do. Um, change it up, you know. But uh, I work in the mid to late shift, so I don't have to deal with the opening uh, mayhem. I've done that for several years. And yeah, it is something else. All these people anymore. coming in and the looks on their faces when they when they've been waiting like hours outside in the cold and then coming into the oh, yeah. store to yeah, succeed stampede. and doing it is always fun. I, I yeah, got to... but other than that, I've been uh, uh, just doing simple stuff with the team, going through each of the applicants, uh, released the batch two, and did the first tryout session yesterday. You have a mainly slot open. on that. Say what, Jester? Yes. You have a slot open there, Phantom Lord. Probably, probably talk about that in a little bit. Okay. Um, the, yeah, so oh, we've only, uh, the only chance I could sort of find for myself and for the majority of the people was yesterday, and we we played, and I got a good idea about how um, the people communicated. It was more or less of like how they communicated in a team setting, more and not... Uh, individual skill because every major team was doing scrims and we couldn't really do real scrims so we just had to do fives and right fives is not really the best way to look at uh a team's or an individual player's skill so yeah it really isn't i got a lot out of that it did well it was pretty fun um but yeah so that's i i'm instead of the two three day session that uh, the batch one was uh was uh, that happened the result of it this is going to be more along the two weeks or so because of the holidays. I don't want people to stress, and I know a lot of these guys are interested. Um, 
improving themselves and getting a shot at being on the team. So I'm just going to be considerate, not just to them, but to myself. I mean, of course, Skyrim and a lot of Warfare is out, and people don't want to just yeah. play LOL all day long. Yeah, yeah, Literally Skyrim, myself. Modern Warfare at the same time. It's been it's been hard to get people to. I'm surprised. Focus. Yeah. Skyrim is so yeah. much no life right now. Yeah. Yeah, people uh, coming in the work. They're like, I've been up for 14 <laughs> hours playing Skyrim. <laughs> I go so, see people Only in the office. IT guys no, have like bags 3, under their all eyes. All the way. <laughs> yeah. Battlefield oh, yeah. three too. Yeah. Forgot about that. So yeah, everything's going good on my part. Um, I guess to sort of talk about what happened with Lapaka, seeing as it's like the flow into that now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was going to do a news article about it, but then I decided against it. I felt that the popular, uh, the sort of the announcement wasn't um, the best way to do it. Uh, just to kind of start from the very beginning, uh -huh. we're still friends. I like the guy a lot. There's nothing in between us that's bad at all. It just kind of didn't work out. I mean, that's the best yeah. way to put it. Um, the team was brought together the first batch in about two to three days, and then we tried out for MLG. Uh, unfortunately, reverse TSM is our first uh, matchup, which we Ouch. would have played them anyways, but would have been nice to like have at least one game as a warm-up and then play against them. Yeah. But... Uh, <clears throat> for the first real team to play, we did well. Uh, of course, the first game we lost, and the second game we were winning. We were up two Barons, and uh, we're invading their, their base, and they're going to hit their uh, base tower and then hip. And uh, because it was a new team, we didn't have the great, that great of communication. So we lost in the team fight, and then TSM being a godly team turned around and beat us. So uh, the result of all that was... Disappointment, obviously, mm -hmm. but um, right, right. I sort of noticed that Lapaka, because he was talking so much about wanting to go to MLG and meet all the guys again, and of course I would have loved that, right. but he wouldn't, mm -hmm. was really let down and disappointed. And I don't blame him, but you can't really expect that sort of an immediate result without working hard. Yeah, and, I'll agree um, with that. Yeah. As soon as MLG ended, he was sort of MIA for a few days. Uh, he's doing some family stuff, and um, then of course the whole issue with CLG where he <laughs> subbed in <laughs> happened, and I woke up one morning I was just like, whoa, what, what happened? You know, you're kind of the co co leader. I put you in a position, and you agreed to help me out with this whole uh, team, and I, I didn't hear one word of it, and it just happened. And it was not it was not really his decision. It was more of that, like he let down CLG and I was sort of pissed because I could have been like, dude, you're gonna get them DQ'd. That's how it works. Anybody but, uh, should have been able to tell them that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that was pretty so, bad. I I was sort of I don't know. I don't know the whole story, I'm sure there's more to it, but I, I was disappointed and and uh so we we spoke about three or four days afterwards and just really calmly, both cool. Nothing, nothing issued. And I said, you know, hey, what happened? And he kind of, at the same time, said he didn't really feel comfortable, and he more or less wanted a team that was already formed, ready to go. Ah, uh, yeah. And that's not what I could have provided to him. Yeah. Provided him. Um, yeah. Sometimes he wanted the shortcut. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <clears throat> this is something that's going to take some time. Uh, it's sort of like almost a third job for me uh, to work on with forming the team and getting all the members and everyone happy with each other. So it's, it's a real big deal. And he, he, I was asking for him to help, but he couldn't provide it. So, um, instead of announcing it through like a news article and making him seem like a bad guy, I just thought I'd wait till the show and sort of say that he parted ways with the team. And, uh, I don't know what he's doing now. I don't know what, what plans he has, but, but we wish um, him well. Yeah. Yeah. I wish him the best. Hope he does uh, good. The team's, yeah. of course, going to go forward. The better everyone Now we do the have the a, a jungle position open, so whoever... Apply, you junglers. Uh, didn't... Jungle, jungle, <laughs> action, go! Apply. Phantom, I'll do it. <laughs> jungle Soraka. No, I'm serious. I'll jungle Soraka. <laughs> it works. Jungle Terek would be nice to it before. Yeah, with these new masteries yeah. out, uh, you think that, that jungling is going to be a lot easier? That's what they intended it to be, isn't it? They said that everybody should be able to jungle. Mm. Maybe. Um, 
everyone? Well, my kind of input on it is it, it just was released, so we don't really know that much. Again, all the pro teams are sort of focusing on scrimming and not Ooh, silly cute for nice. what Chester said, that they don't want to learn this. New this Mastery new Tree all of a sudden. We'll, yeah. Go back. But yeah, it's confusing. I brought up the Mastery Tree. I'm excited on the, to see what will happen. The stream. One thing, I was looking at it earlier, and I can't remember what it was called. But, oh, on the defensive, you get some, like, m almost half damage from creeps or uh, uh, jungle creeps or minions. And then you even get, basically, thorn mail versus them. So, which I think is pretty much why everybody will be able to jungle. Yeah, so, they're, like, turning down the creeps, making them free money, and we'll see how this works. <laughs> yeah, I think it'll be interesting. I mean, Re it, it definitely... Wait, hold on, Rebel. Rebel, hold on for a second. Did you just drink out of a Hello Kitty cup? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what the yes. hell is wrong with you? Have you been missing this the whole time? Uh, yes, well, he's been busy yeah, doing I'm, whatever I'm it is he does. Playing another game while we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He is focused, one hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, wait, wait, what? Where am I? Are you? What? Yeah. yeah. Is that Hello Kitty? Hello Kitties. <laughs> My runaway uh, Hello Phantom. Runaway. Kitty cup is OP. <laughs> All right, and while Phantom Lord is out, uh, you can all see his uh, creepy lamp that <laughs> yes. looks like it's painted onto the wall. <laughs> it does that, cast yeah. a shadow, but only a shadow. Yeah, and that it's shadow like could have been uh, painted just, on as well. So, you know, just... I've just <laughs> been... Special delivery, Jaeger Bomb. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> That's my kind of delivery. Who delivers it? Uh, Dominoes. My brother. Ah. Uh, <laughs> free Jaeger Bomb. <laughs> he knew you needed it after hearing about the Lepaka story, maybe? <laughs> I just Maybe. need to get bombed right now. <laughs> that was so good. So, all right. Continuing on then. Uh, patch. Patch. I mean, Action. We already started talking a little yeah, bit about it. Yeah, we kind of brought uh, up the masteries. So, I mean, you got big spells. Flash was nerfed. Clairvoyance was nerfed. Heal. Got a pretty yes, good buff. Right. Surge is brought back and apparently overpowered. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean brought back? Well, it, it's brought back on the Summoner's Rift. You can you it can now uh it never, no 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 it not never left. <laughs> I was thinking of uh, promote promote yeah promote. I'm getting my master yes computer. promote <laughs> yeah continue where was I yes continue yeah yes I ran like a train headlong <laughs> into a wall <laughs> bam uh, cleanse clears almost everything and gives CC reduction while on cooldown and uh, promote which and is promote. back on Summoner's Rift that's what I had right. You yeah. can only promote the Sad, uh, yeah. Sadly, siege you can't cannon. stack it though. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if it's sadly, like being no. Sadly, thankfully. Thankfully, yeah. I'm with Jester on this one. It was uh, pretty bad. It was pretty awesome, especially when you had. Oh man, I just wish uh, with Heimerdinger. <laughs> oh, it was awesome. <laughs> So yeah, new masteries, a lot of changes. Chaser, have you been playing it all all day? Uh, I play a little bit, like one or two. two what or three do you games. think of you know all the tweaks and changes? I'm a little confused about the the masteries, but I feel like what Riot wanted to do is to stop everyone from going just 21 and one tree. But everyone still, there's everyone else is still tumbling on the fact that you have to go 21 in one place and nine on the other. But I don't think that's what Riot was aiming for. I think. Specifically, they wanted like people could like totally spec into one tree. That's one thing. Zero thirty zero, for example. Yeah. Well, that, that's like that's like kind of an extreme example, but more like maybe like twenty four, twenty six, you know, like something like that. I feel like that's that's still fine right now. Really, really Hotshot said Hotshot just told me I don't think he's coming on the show. By the way. Oh, too much money on his other stream. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. I think we'll live. I think it's uh, a yeah. better diversity on what they did at the Master Tree. Yeah. I honestly haven't had like hours of time to look at it, mm. but I, I just the initial thought was I'm pleased. I like how it's the sort of a reset, so everyone kind of has to relearn it. Yeah. It, yeah. One thing I've noticed is a lot of people change. decided that they have yeah. to actually choose now. <laughs> it's not so much a, you know, yeah. this is the only way to go. It's well, I could do that or that one, and they could both work for me, but we'll see how it works. So. And if you go down the defensive tree, you're more or less a defensive-based champion. You're not like a uh, sort of a AP-based tank. You're, you're really a tank. So yeah. I like that. What you spec into is what you are. Yeah. 
just want to add to something that Chowster said, though. Like, I, I think he's right. People are still in the mindset that you have to have 21 in one tree and 9 in another. And looking at some of the tal or talents of masteries, <laughs> I look at them and <laughs> stop thinking, like, wow terms. No, yeah. but I'm, well, so I, I look at them and it's like, if I want to play a tank, I don't necessarily need to get some of the stuff in the utility tree. I mean, some of the stuff in the utility tree that tanks use, they actually moved into the defensive tree, which is useful. So, like, uh, support characters, I think, will just probably put most of their points in uh, in the in utility now instead of, you know, branching out. I think they'll keep most of them there instead. So, I think it's a good idea. I kind of like the new Mastery Trees. I'm just really confused by them, but that's just because they came out today and... I haven't ha really had yeah. a chance to play around with them. I wanted to ask you guys, because uh, I didn't see anything beforehand, how, when I'm talking to people and how everyone reacts, it's like these just like came out of nowhere. <laughs> they No one had really seen what they were expecting them to be. Did you guys hear or see much or any details about this before they dropped it? Uh, well, there was a YouTube video, right? Yeah, I knew about it. Uh, they Did they go into much uh, detail kind of or... Where they just kind of oh, saying. not specific details, just like they're gonna be changing the masteries. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was All interesting because masteries are kind of important, and they're just like, all right, now they're different, and go. Yeah. I was actually surprised they input it like so fast. They actually implemented like, oh, master change is gonna happen like right now. Like everything yeah. else hasn't happened. Yeah, yeah. So yeah I'm, like, I'm like, wow, that's kind of. What they were doing is they were actually changing the masteries the whole time. They just kept getting overwhelmed with observer mode and all the other bug fixes they need to do, and then suddenly they're just like, oh, yeah, we're working on this too, so, yeah, it's out. Oh, it's like, oh, yeah, by the way. Still, what are the replays? Uh, replays is more important than mastery change. Pause function. Come on, guys. Yeah. Number one priority. Pause. Now, well, now we have observer have... mode, which was the number number one priority. Now let's go for pause mode. Pause was always yeah, higher up for me. We have pause function already on the twenty round. In yeah. tournament, yeah, in tournament. Twenty round. So, what do you think this Jester, Since you're a big uh, caster, what do you think that this whole observer mode is going to mean for, like, the community as a whole? Since every Joe Blow shall be able to stream, like, full on games instead of half, you know, replays. Would you believe I get a lot of questions about people just like, how can we get into casting? How can we run our tournaments without Riot support? Yeah. And basically I just tell them, you can't. Like, yeah. You can do 6v6 custom games, and you can risk getting banned. That's about it. Um, <laughs> although I, I'm not too sure it's confirmed you get banned. But either way, you got to do. You got to hack it. That's how you do it. Yeah. Now with this, like just as we did last night, Happers and I were just like, fine, this is due to 10 on, 5 on 5, go. And we cast it. Easy as that. Bam. Nice. Done. Just like it should be. be. Yep. But, um, you know, they are catching up. They're getting there. And this is going to be my new answer. You just go into spec mode. And That's stream. It. Just go over here to spec mode. That's it. You're done. It's, it's a very gratifying answer. And soon people are going to stop asking it because <laughs> it's going to become call common knowledge. And I can then have a sane email again. You can but. just tell them to come back to this. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was good. I mean, last night we just booted up, we went. And that's exactly how it a lot work. more tournaments are going to be able to be run. Yep. Small things. Uh, people are going to explode YouTube channels. People are going to be like, oh, I know all the inside. Like the pros, bam, here's my pro inside channel. And people will shoot them down. It's fine. Because yep. you know, that's what happens. We're going to have a lot more casters you know, enter the arena. We're going to have a lot more community people now uh, you know, entering into video work. Because they don't have to have Riot's permission. They don't have to have that tournament now. Yeah. And we can hopefully one day do away with well replay and have real replays to go with it. Yeah, that'd be spectacular. Yeah, that would be nice. So it's but, good. Uh, I love the open time, data. right? Yeah. yeah. One thing in a very, very long time is how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Two so years and counting. Yeah. We sort of discussed Fizz a little bit, but uh, I had a particular <laughs> image I really had to uh, bring up because I mentioned it last week, and uh, this image I'm sure a lot of you will know if you like B is uh, Gashunk. <laughs> Clearly the noise a shark makes when it kicks down your door. Clearly. Clearly. So, uh, as I predicted from last week, that there will be a shark Jaws style coming out of the ground for an ultimate. Although I didn't predict that he would throw a fish. But hey, you know what? Yeah, we didn't, close. Right. you didn't see the fish, but you're like, Jana, Yeah, it would Jana, be good if they had the music. <laughs> that would make it perfect. I was very impressed with your predictability there. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you used it. You wrong. acted exactly how you thought. Hey, he accepted it. It's fine. <laughs> I just took it and ran. Uh, so, has anybody played Fizz yet? 
and actually tried to do anything special. Daniel's like playing him right now. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I, we finished that game. <laughs> you what? We finished that game. Oh, you're and in the We got all the skins already, too. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the next one is Ash. I want to play the new Ash skin because it looks awesome. Uh, That's, uh, what, what's, what was her name? Violet? A Amethyst. I have no idea. I, I think it's... Ash. I don't know. I just call her Sexbot. That's, that's what sex I call her. She's, it's, it's an amazing, amazing skin. Sexbot Ash. Yeah, I, I played him. Um, I was actually playing some Skyrim last night, and lo and behold, the servers came up, so I was like, okay, gonna jump on, and I was 70 IP away from buying him, so I had to play two Dominion games and just lose as fast as I could <laughs> so I could buy the champion and then stream him. Um, for those of you that haven't played him yet or interested in, in maybe getting him, uh, he's he's going to be an extremely so, uh, strong solo laner. He has a lot of utility. He has two gap closers. He has a uh, ult that can stun and slow. He has, which I think is the most bullshit thing ever, and the ability to uh, completely... Uh, uh, disregard any damage that he takes. So let's say you have brand alt being thrown at you, you just press E and it's gone. Tower hit coming at you, press E and it's gone. So reaction time. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. It is. Because yeah, it's it's I don't know, that's so strong. Uh, yeah. I was playing last night, I just thought it was just too strong or this morning, I'm sorry. Well, um, but uh, other it, than that, he's a fun champion. Yeah, I, I saw that. Like, man, it. if you have good ping and good reaction, he's gonna be a very strong champion. Mhm. Mm Especially one v one. He has. He has the no uh, unit collision passive. Yeah. He has the ability to take extra poke damage. So if you're just in a melee versus melee uh, solo lane, like top, you win on the poke damage, hands down. You get W, you win. Because the minion damage is usually what happens is if a champion goes up to poke you, uh -huh. and then of course the enemy minions get aggro on that person right. and damage him, the mm. damage comes out to be relatively even. Well, he wins because he has the passive to uh, reduce the damage. Yeah. Um, and then he has the gap closer with his Q. Then he has the uh, W, which is sort of like Gangplank's old passive, which does damage over time. And it also has a... Uh, uh, healing reduction, so he can be like a bottom laner too. And uh, then he has his E, which can be a slow or another gap closer, which can also jump over a uh, small amount of hills or walls. And like if you're mid lane, you can jump from the river up to the upper cliff. Right. And then his alt, which is a stun. So there's a lot of utility in this champion. Yeah. I think he's just really, really strong. But I haven't seen, I didn't see a hot fix. Like with um, Shivana, when I played her when she, re she was just released, I thought she was overpowered too. And then uh, the next day when I logged on, I saw that quick download on the client. And yeah, there was yeah, the little hot fix is. that no one will know about. So I, I didn't see it with him. So it looks like what do you think uh, the is. if you were going to hot fix something? Like if you were going to change it, what do you, what would you do? That e, if if uh, I was playing this morning and I was I dove at some uh one of the champions and mm -hmm. uh it was there can be uh let's see what happened oh yeah so the tower was hitting me hitting me hitting me and i get the last kill killing blow and i'm running away and the tower sends one last hit and i'm like oh fuck i'm dead oh wait eat oh i'm alive so yeah. <laughs> it just it doesn't seem fair because morgana's alt uh so many champions that have those stuns those abilities that will you know, destroy you after a certain amount of time they just yeah. Throw away, and I don't think that's fair at all. The other thing is, doesn't uh, his so I definitely uh, would get rid of that. Doesn't his ultimate, also, his ultimate's not a skill shot. It, you target the champion, throw it, and it'll even follow them around if they move somewhere. That no, was what I was watching. It is, it's a skill shot. Okay, because I was watching the the champ preview thing, and he threw it at the whatever was there, and they started to run, and it followed them. I was like, holy crap! Oh, it's well, it's, it's really weird, yeah. And so no, when no, it's no 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 if once it hits an enemy okay it's a few seconds later that the shark comes up so if um if you basically if you put it on them before they start running away the fish is on them they start running away the shark will still come up underneath them wherever okay. they're at 
So it's not I like somewhere you have to... to test it. But I think it's more of wherever the when the skill shot ends, like when you when you send it to the final destination, that it has like a 0.5 uh, seconds, and then it can latch on to the champion. And then if the champion is standing there, it'll latch on, and the champion will run away, it'll follow. So I haven't had much time to test it. When I did play it a little bit this morning, it was just like I didn't understand it completely. So I think that's I think that's what it is. Yeah. But, uh, someone asked if it if it can remove Karth's alt with his E. Yeah, it does. It removes all damage abilities. Really? Anything. Well, it removes your hitbox from the game. It's hard to do anything to your hitbox when it's untargetable. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah. But so that sounds so a little bit uh, just... awesome. I don't. I don't think it's fair at all, but that's how what long makes does it last? OP. It's just like one uh, half, like half a second. Half a second. Yeah. Half a second. Yeah. So it's not that terrible. Just got to learn how to fake him out. Get him to use it. You yeah. don't use your ability. Oh, good. Now you can't use it for a few seconds. Lay the hurt. I mean, it's, yeah. it's not going to be super yeah, hard. People to learn how to deal with it. This. Yeah, yeah. I think what they'll do is they'll use all sub abilities to knock it out or something to get it done, and then they'll just. Yeah, them. it's only it's it's only got like a seven second cooldown too. So yeah, well seven seconds in a one v one fight. So if you block one, that would be seven time. seconds. Yeah, rank five. Left. Yeah, it's eight or nine seconds, I believe. Um, one thing I do have to bitch about a little bit is when I was watching the champion preview, I want to smack whoever named it playful slash trickster because. <laughs> Freak had to say it every time. Playful yeah, slash that. trickster, and he must have said it a million times. I wanted to beat my monitor. Or just turn off the sound, but I really wanted to hear what the rest of it was. <laughs> and it was very annoying. So, please, Riot, don't name things something slash something else. Just name it one word. Your boss mode, then. So, alright, well, I think we're going to take a very short little break. We're going to run a quick commercial, and then we're going to come back and have all of our time with Chouster. Because that's yeah. pretty much he has the script. He hasn't been here from now. Yeah, he's he, he's he been very quiet thus far. Yeah. So yeah, give we're me gonna... two seconds to learn. Also, this is my first time running a commercial. So uh, you do it from that website. Don't I don't screw I don't. it up. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, Just... we promise to screw it up. We will. So we, it's right there. No, nope. there we are. And so some of you will still hear us, but we'll be right back. Unmute and back. Yo. And we're back again. If anybody is wait, not seeing this, please uh, tell. Wait, you won't be able to tell us. <laughs> well, they could hear us. <laughs> if you can hear us, then we're talking over the advertisement, and you need to buy your carpet cleaning product. <laughs> Obviously. Go go key. mighty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What was it? Yeah. Go go mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Why did what? you say that? What? Not no. Keep going. So, Chowster. All right, so yep. apparently we did two ads in a row, and I totally did not say that. Or tell it to do that, so I apologize for that. I told it to do one. Um, so, we have Chowster here. We had a look. <laughs> what? <laughs> the <laughs> the random chat's making everything horrible. Um, stop reading IRC. Yes, yeah, must stop reading. It's too entertaining. Uh Speaking of IRC, get on there. Uh, that's how we give away RP. Yep. So get on IRC. And make sure you have your spot available to get RP from Vaniel. He is the one in the corner that doesn't talk. Yes, he is. We give RP away. On the show? <laughs> <laughs> he just stands I don't have there in his arms. This week, guys. I really, I don't have any cards. What the fuck was that noise? I don't know. Maybe something blew up outside. I oh, really, I, no, I actually no like have, seriously, I, there was like a fucking explosion behind me, like. There it goes again. Um, Sorry. Whatever. So, um, Chowster. Take over a second. I'm going to step yeah, outside to make gonna... sure nothing is actually on fire. Yeah, that would be bad. <laughs> so, uh, Chowster, how goes it? Enjoying Good. it? What is your uh, next tournament that you guys are heading to? Uh, I believe... I'm actually not sure, but I know we're doing qualifiers for IEM Kyo. Yeah. Nice. Didn't you already get knocked out of qualifier one? 
Oh no no that was that was a, that was a qualifier to a qualifier. So the top four. <laughs> yeah. Announcement of an out. announcement. Sort of like New York. What did you guys like, place uh, in it? What'd you place in it? Uh, is it like third? Top, is it top six or something? Go. Uh, to, to, to get to get probably. I have no idea how the, the qualifiers are for it. But yeah, it hasn't been announced. I just know like the top four teams from the qualifier. The qualifiers are the qualifiers, top four teams. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. All right, all right. Um, Jester, did you have any uh, questions for him? Uh, also, our stream, uh, get in chat. You can have uh, questions for uh, Chalster. How did Demon go? Um, he went there was to an explosion, go check didn't you out hear? the yeah, I didn't strange think noise, and he has disappeared, and I'm currently not sure what's going on. But uh, the internet okay. still works, so uh, something's going well. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, there's not really much of a question, but every time I see Corky, I always call him Chaucer, from when you used to play AD. Because my first like set of real casts for National ESL was covering COG and you were Corky, and we would just call you Chaucer. Now every time I'm in a game, I call it Chaucer. You are an amazing I, Chaucer. I, or, I blame uh, you. Ah, you're an amazing Corky, by the way. Damn it, Jester. <laughs> more torture. Now That's I'm doing me, it. but everything is over on that guy. I actually think Corky so, is still a strong pick. You're probably gonna see him again, especially yeah, after that. Yeah, he just got buffed, right? Bump. It's like yeah. ten damage. It's a ten damage buff. It's not much, but now people are gonna start playing him more. Well, they also nerfed Caitlyn and Graves. Wait, and what? what was that? Yeah, that noise but you're not playing AD anymore. You're playing AP. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, why game. is that? Why is that? I'm curious. I haven't really heard. It's it's mainly um, like GD's always been a good player, but like he's always been known to be passive. Like as as a solo laner, if your reputation is passive, at best you can only tie your lane. That's at best. Like that's just how it is nowadays. You can't if you're not if you're not adapting, if you're not responding, you're not if you're not harassing when you have a free harass or you know, doing the right moves at the right time. That's how you're supposed to lane. Like everything you do is a reaction to the enemy champion. And if you don't do that and you're too lazy, you sit there and farm, like that's an that's a disadvantage to your team. Like a Top solo uh, Cho or something maybe. Uh, so I feel cool. like his his style would fit AD carry because oh, all you do in lane is just farm, you just farm and farm. So it would be perfect. <laughs> I see it working. I've I've laned against him a lot before uh, this whole change happened, and I, I I can agree with that. That matches his character pretty well. If you just like I think it's doing fine. Take two AP carries, like let's say Reginald, who is known to be an aggressive player, and then like. Gigi, who's known to be a passive player, like how yeah. how many times does Gigi in this day and age like win the lane outright? It's not that it's not very not right. very like, this doesn't happen. Because if you're not aggressive, you're not gonna win the lane. Mm. That's how it is. Yeah, it's true enough. Some people are saying that uh real life stuff came into play with uh, Tim changing. Like he was known to be one of the best, most consistent players and then all of a sudden I even noticed this too in solo queue work, and of course solo queue. He has like been that. out. I mean, I know at the time, like when that happened, he was a little out of practice. But still, like, he's he's had this reputation for over a year. Like, he is passive in lane, and all he does is farm. And once it comes to a team fight, he don't know exactly what to do. And that's still the case. It's just now laning. It has like it's really important to be like to do well in lane. And if you're not if you're not performing that well, then maybe there needs to be a change. Because you can't just change like his style. It's, he's been playing this game for like two years. You can't. It's too late to change. Just to be clear, what GG are we talking about? Big fat LP or hot shot? Oh, big fat GG. Big fat. Okay. Just yeah. Making sure I you know, gotta keep it straight in my mind. Yeah. <laughs> I was. Yeah. I, I. I was kind of wondering that myself. And then all of a sudden, everybody in chat goes, oh! Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. think anyone calls hot shot GG. No, no, he doesn't. No, usually but, I mean, hot shot. Yeah. Just making sure, but yeah. uh, you could also say, I mean, he got a, a girlfriend now, right? Yes. Could it be an impact? I don't know. Uh, Get off He's that becoming more game. passive. Becoming no, more human. I don't think yeah. that's. Um, no, no I, I don't think it could be because he's. Uh, what Chaucer said about him being passive in lane. I he's know always been passive, and that's inherently wrong as yeah. a solo laner. It's just inherently wrong to be at play at the top level. That's why mm. we. Yeah, when I was just a regular solo queue player, he was my idol at the time, and I. When I finally got to lane against him consistently and just I was like shitting my pants, I noticed that, so I don't think that has anything to do with how he's been playing. 
So I've been forced to correct myself. Not all girls are bitching about their boyfriends being on League of Legends. I'm sorry, Nicole. <laughs> Nicole's but, your uh, girlfriend? No. No. What? <laughs> yes. No, wait. Wait. I hope my wife's not watching. Oh. <laughs> Awkward. Get, just as, got real. As the quick, uh, I don't know what that noise was outside that I went and heard, but it happened again when I was out there, and it's something like behind in the street behind us, and it just goes, it sounds like they're overcharging a, a what's the transformer or something like that, and it's at EMP. Possibly too, but it was very unnerving actually sitting out there. Yeah, it was really loud because yeah, this it, is in like a this a is in a well room. insulated sound room and it uh, yeah like reverberated through here. I don't yeah, know it if was, it's, it we picked fun. it up on the stream, but yeah, it was very odd. It's Magneto. Yeah. So I'm going to try and get back into. <laughs> <laughs> it actually did sound kind of like Transformers. Like if you were watching the movie, Optimus Prime. <laughs> it could be Optimus. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It's like. <laughs> So if suddenly the stream goes off and you may have seen a big foot come down all yeah. of a sudden, then yeah. you know what happened. Yeah. Or just call 911 and tell them to come to Columbia, South Carolina. They'll yeah. figure it out by the burning flames. Yeah, well, I don't... I think or the large robot. Out. Yeah. yeah. Please don't bomb us. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, so now I have some questions, questions for Chowster. Okay. I have some questions for Chowster. Off of strictly League of Legends things, now I'm under kind of a, the person of Chowster. All right. Like, how old are you? Okay. You know, what do you do? Do you do anything else for a living? Is, uh, you know, just generally speaking, outside of League of Legends, a little bit about yourself? Uh, I'm 23 years old. Uh, recently, I... It sounds so stupid. I decided to go pro with video games. Yes. Like, you know, it's like... They had a Season 2 announcement over summer, and I was like, oh, $5 million for Season 2. And at the time, it's like, I'm on arguably the best team in North America, arguably one of the best teams in the world, right. and why not take like this once in a lifetime opportunity to like play video games, make money, and travel the world? Like, who wouldn't do that, right? Yeah, but, like, yeah. I, I, yeah, but stereotypically, like, I'm Asian. Like, my parents, like, they're not. You know, I'm not like, You're like, Asian. I'm an Asian. I went wow. to Berkeley. I graduated from Cal, and I have to tell my parents like, I was supposed to go back to school. Like, I, I, I already applied to a program, like some kind, some kind of health program. I got in, and I was like, okay. Did all the immunizations and all that paperwork and stuff, and I was, I was set to go to school. And then season two announcement comes up, and I just decide, like, randomly that I'm not going to go to school. And I have to break that to my parents. I have to tell them that I'm not going to be schooling anymore. I'm just going to play video games instead. How'd that go over? Yeah, uh, how did that go? It was actually not that bad. Like, oh, good. I thought it was Very understanding. Hours, like... In the end, it wasn't even, they weren't even the problem. It's just like, there's this thing. Did you mention the uh, $5 million? Like, dollars? I, you know, I've been raised, I've been raised the fact that, like, okay, video games, like, who the fuck is going to quit school to play video games? To me, it was just, like, impossible. Like, I was raised completely against that. Like, school, yeah. school, school. Yeah. School, school, school. And here I am, like, I am here initiating this. Yeah. But you're not doing it, like, just in your basement. You're making money so, off this. That's true. That's a but good like, incentive for parents. Yeah, yeah. when they're it like, you can is. pay me bills. So I have a question. Are you, are you good at math? <laughs> yes. Oh my yes. god. <laughs> there you go. I'm good at math. Of course he's Not good at like, math. I wouldn't say I'm good at math now after I've been to college. Cause like I've he, went to, he went to Berkeley. It's a valid question. <laughs> like, I'm good at math relatively to the population, but like if you're asking me like to compare it to like engineers and stuff, like... Yeah, I like to like linear algebra, and I didn't take any math after that. Calculus. I don't know any. I don't know any. I, I took calc. I finished math. So I don't know any like proofs. Once you get into linear algebra, like math just goes down here. Like I, I, I can't do that. Hmm. So uh, we did have a I'll question. Show you on that one. What uh, when you asked, did you like tell your parents I'm just gonna go pro and stay home, or did you like? kind of have a discussion with them? How did you bring that up? Because yeah. we have people... I just, like, I sat down with them, and I was like, uh... Like, because it's not like... It's, it didn't come out of the blue. Like, recently, I like I, I went here, I went there to play games, and, you know, like, right. I want some money here and there. Like, oh, my pile was WCG World Champ. And they're like, oh, my son's a world champion. Wait, you just <laughs> told them now that you're a world no, champion? No, no, this, this is, like, it happened, like, <laughs> once, once previous. Like, it's, okay. it's all built up to the fact that, like, I'm playing games, and it's semi-serious. That it's makes it a little easier. Like, 
it's not just like I'm just playing games and randomly I tell my parents I'm gonna yeah. quit school and decide to play video games. Like I'm so delusional. No, it's like I've already brought home some checks. Yeah. I made some money. Like I talked to them about it like randomly, and then now it's like oh five millions on the line. Like come on, that's a lot of money, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. So we have a question: Do is uh, CLG going to be making a team house like TSM? No, I wouldn't agree to that. I don't want to live in a game house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm also like the environment. You'd be forced to play, you'd be like, but I, I don't, I don't want to. Do mm. no Especially with like CLG's situation right now, it's not even possible. Right? Yeah. yeah, we had the vocabulary uh... be reduced down to bros. <laughs> oh, bro. Really bro, but like just thinking like like GG just moved in, he spent like. A few thousand settling in. Yeah. Like, I don't know which way. Like, I just, I don't want to fucking move to the game house. Yeah, we had uh, Dyrus on last week, and uh, he was telling us a little bit about the uh, team house, and I don't <laughs> really blame you. Floor. Yeah, it's like we've been sleeping on the floor. I just got a bed. You know, yeah. don't have any. I shit. wake up, eat a box of cereal. Yeah. 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 So, so what did you get your degree in? Uh, dietetics. Nice. Like, what? Dietitian stuff. Oh, okay. Like, dietitian. Cool. So that's you why you're so cook? healthy, right? Wait, what? Can that, you that? That's why you're so healthy, right? I eat fast food every single day. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that'll teach you college your wonders. <laughs> it's like I know exactly how bad it is for me, but it's delicious. That ramen diet. So we've. I have heard that you are quite a fan of fast food. Uh, you know all of yeah. their menus by heart. But I know quite a bit. Okay. I wouldn't say I know all of them, but I know a lot. What's your favorite fast food? What's your favorite? Favorite? I don't really have a favorite. Like, I go with some... Oops. It's basically top five. Like, where Three. I'm at. Top five? Like, all the fast... All the five fast food chains, like... McDonald's, Taco Bell, uh, Burger King, Wendy's... You don't fool around, man. Popeyes. Yeah. <laughs> like you know, like I don't actually don't go to Carl's Jr. that much. It's kind of expensive, like relatively to like the other fast food chains. I can get the same burger somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, the other. It's all about Arby's. Arby's. I love oh, I Arby's. All that there's not much. There's not many Arby's here. Oh. oh, it's a shame. Yeah. Uh, a shame, I tell you. We had to ask how did a... you how did you pick or get your name, Chowster? How did I pick my name? Yeah. Uh, yes. Actually. I was in third grade, <laughs> and I was playing StarCraft at the time. I think I had a 14.4K modem. I'm not sure. Wait, third grade StarCraft? <laughs> yeah, Why not? Third grade or fourth grade. I'm not exactly sure exact which grade, but it was third grade or fourth grade, and I was with my brother, and we're just, it's just after school, and we're making accounts, and my brother's like, oh, I'm going to make my account name. I'm going to be Chowster. And I'm like, oh, that sounds so cool. And like, you know, I'm in third grade. I'm not very original, you know. I'm like, yeah. okay, I want to think of my own name. But I it's don't stolen. know what to pick. And my, I was like, okay. And I looked up to my brother. I always have. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to be Chowster too. And then like, my brother's like, basically like, okay, he's in fifth grade. He's not going to cuss. And he's like, he's like, oh, forget that. I'm going to use another account name. So I just took Chowster from him. And he decided to be something else. Cool. Um, very so nice. Name. So it was handed down. Pass down from hey, me down. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, yeah. Like, I, down more. Hey, he took, that's he took. He liked it and took it. I. That's what exactly what this thing came from, my brother. Granted, though, my brothers He's had are, that thing for like twenty years. My brothers are ten and twelve years older than me, so this was a part of the eighties teen years. Yeah. See, twenty. This years. is big hair kind of bandana. Thank you. When metal this was, was the eighties, that's thirty years. Yeah. You know what, world? <laughs> the nineties were just yesterday. Yeah, when I was in high school. Shh, math doesn't exist. So, yeah, uh, of Lord and I were just thinking ahead to like your grade three. You're playing Starcraft. Starcraft came out in 1998. Or... It is. Is it third or fourth grade? Third or fourth grade? Not fifth grade. I don't know. Definitely not. I think it was I mean, eighth grade. I hit it. Actually, fifth grade is yeah. right now. Been fourth grade. Might have been a fourth grade. It's probably fourth or fifth because that's around the time that I did it too, and I'm the same age as you. That was in high school. I feel old now. <laughs> you should. I think it's fourth grade, now that I think about it. Imagine how Jester feels. What are you talking about? Jester's like 13 or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if you... 13 with goatee. Oh, <laughs> that for life. Yeah. You're... I want to be pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you go to Penn State? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. I heard about that, Coach. <laughs>
Yeah, I think everybody in North America heard about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the at gym. least, oh. at least a little. In the gym Sorry. behind the bleachers. Wait, no. Yeah, in the showers. That's creepy. Yeah, it's disturbing. Uh, Ch- Chaucer. Yeah. I'm getting strong armed into this one, but Jaden the Broker says hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said you'd say. Yeah. So, Chaucer, I want you to answer this one question, and then I have one more thing to mention, and then we'll get on to giveaways and more questions. Speaking so, of giveaways, chat, you have to be please, in chat for please, the giveaways. Please ask more questions, and you have to be in the chat uh, to, to get ask RP. the chat. Right. Yeah. And shut up. <laughs> That comment in chat is horrible. I read it now too. Uh, so we won't repeat that on the show. But uh, we just did. so <laughs> what he just did for you. <laughs> yeah. What is your favorite AP champ? AP character, favorite. like League of Teemo or anything. Favorite or like what I actually like favorite favorite. <laughs> I like to play AP easy. AP easy. AP easy. You play AP Ezreal? Yes. Why? Because it's awesome. I don't know, that's how I used to it's play it, and strong. I'm really used to that play style. Like the only bad thing about it is like you're completely non-existent in the first 15 minutes of the game. Yeah, it's that's just, true. It's really bad in competitive play. It could probably work. It has a place. Everything has a place in this game. You just have to find a way to implement it. Hmm. Everything has a place. AP severe. It, everything yeah. has it a works. Place. No, it, that I mean, works. All, I mean, I'm not saying like all the builds have a place. But all, the <laughs> all the characters have their place. Yes, stay in their place. Even Eve. Yes, even Eve. Stealth is OP. Mm-hmm. Is broken. The pressure that a stealth character can put on solo lane is. Where's that impressive. remake? Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, all right. So if you're a safe player, there's no way you're gonna play aggressive if there's a stealth jungle and you have no wards. It's impossible. Yeah, Unless you can. Just asking to die. So, uh, my quick announcement to just cut everybody off at once was, uh, for all you VOD viewers who are watching us now, we are going to be getting a European version of Beyond the Rift. Yay! It'll be run by Vlanitech, Paul, uh, SK's Abhorsen, and, uh, that's it, and Relexis. So, those will be your four hosts. It's going to be Thursdays at 9 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time GMT. So it'll be 4... Greenwich? Euro time. Yeah, basically. Euro time. Uh, and it'll be 4 p.m. for our, us East Coast people, if you want to tune into that too. So Thursdays at 4. Yeah, yeah. And for all you European people, you cannot have to stay up till 4 in the morning to watch our awesome show. So... Uh, but you be having feel free to. The good part is they'll be getting a lot of the uh, European pros on. So we're the NA side, they'll be the EU side. Yay for Shushé. <laughs> So, yeah, that's we have him on. He is hilarious. Shushe is quite an entertaining character. I do enjoy him. All right. So, questions wise. I would enjoy him too. Uh, again, get in chat because. <laughs> wait, what? At least you didn't say Penn nothing, State. Nothing, nothing. Carry on. Carry on. <laughs> Foot and mouth disease. I own it. So, then who is your favorite AD carry? Chowster. Chowster. Favorite AD. Uh, severe, severe, severe. Don't. No, I don't like. Let me check my. You went so mid with Sivir. Sivir. I know, yeah. Let me check my champ. I don't. I play Sivir. I like her, but I don't think she's my favorite. Sivir, severe. Oh, Why can't we come up with a pronunciation and stick with it? God. Probably. Mine like better. <laughs> Ash or easy. Ash or easy is my favorite. You just said you play AP easy. Yeah, I like AD, AP. I just like you. <laughs> You're just going back on what you just said. You only play him AD. No, AP, no. AP, whatever. He likes the things no, to be that's my favorite. It's my favorite is AP. Okay. But my favorite AD would be, could be easy, too. Ah. Not straying far from the farm, are we? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh, who's me. my favorite character? Uh, Ash, Caitlin, AD carries, generally speaking. I enjoy yeah. them. Uh, Tristana was actually one of my first loves. Yes, so. Uh, Didn't she just get buffed? She did get buffed, so I can't wait to play her with the new buff. I've been, yeah, you know, a little busy with uh, the show today, so I haven't really been able to play. But, uh, you know, my son was more than happy to tell me that the patch came out this morning. He woke me up and was like, They gave us Shivana! Or Shivana, sorry. But uh, it was very obnoxious at 7.30 in the morning. So... Let's see. More questions. More questions. Anybody, uh, any of you guys have questions for him? Uh, Throw them at him while I find. 
when you lane Chelster, uh, who would you say, like, pro player-wise, is your hardest matchup? Honestly, uh, or not your honestly? Nemesis, maybe. I mean, you don't have don't, to tell the truth. I don't think I haven't. I haven't played mid for very long, but like laning wise, for me, it's basically only match matchup based. I don't think I don't think they're gonna like. It's just matchup based to me. Matchup based. Point. Yeah. So a uh, matchup based, who don't you like to see on the other end? Someone that counterpicks my champion. <laughs> 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 yeah, something that counters me. Like I. As Zareth, like say Zareth versus Kassin, like I will completely shit on Kassin, really. Like, completely. Like, there's nothing he can do to me. But once he reaches 6 and jungle pressure comes into play, like, I just can't do what I do. But normally, I don't feel like if the lane is even or if, like, I have the advantage, I, I'm supposed to win, and I usually do. Hmm. Chops You've been playing a lot of Zareth, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yes, I have. I have. Chaff, I was going to ask you to do one little everything. quick thing. Was could you move your mic just a little bit closer to your mouth? Okay. Ah, ah, there, there it is. is. I should have asked you to do that a long time ago, but like forty-five minutes to an hour ago. Eh, whatever. Yeah. Better late than never. Yeah. So continuing on. Uh, also, uh, all you guys in chat, looks like we have around uh, 250, 300 viewers. We only have like. Mm, 84 people in chat. 64 in chat. So. So get you're missing in out. Chat. Get your uh, RP points. Hop in chat. It's good yeah, we still have those, right, Daniel? Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, yeah. yeah. Daniel and Jester. Yeah, we, we don't have those things. You've been asked, what are your yeah. favorite I don't have, champs? I don't have either of these. <laughs> Daniel, Jester, what are your favorite champs? At the same time. Yeah. The, it depends <laughs> on who has the biggest boobs at the time. I agree. Amethyst Ash is probably your newest favorite, right? It is. <laughs> Ash is. Ash has actually always been my favorite AD carry. I think she's great, but I think um, my favorite champion overall, I like Gragas, the fat man. <laughs> I've, we have a lot in common. So. <laughs> they do. That was ironically your first little like champion spotlight thing. Your yeah, version of it, it was, was Gragas. The short-lived, the short-lived little uh, thing that I did. I hope to be able to one day do them again. But yeah, I've just been kind of busy. You know, you should have trolled it and been like, you know, here's the Gragas thing, and then just like done a big shot of your belly in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, I'm hey, people cosplay. Just... Yeah, there you go. Yep. Yeah. I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of actually just. Rebooting the the show thing and just trolling everybody in every single episode. So, I, if you, if any of you guys have seen the Pro Anivia guide, it w it's amazing. If you haven't seen it, you really should go watch it. Um, I really I kind of want to do something like that every week. Yeah. Do it, do it. So I think uh, I can find it because it really is a good. Uh, yeah. It is hilarious. We'll do a giveaway. And... Yeah. So Van Lee. Some are like walls off teammates and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they go into the dragon and he walls him in there. Dragon oh, barrel God. brings enemies to him. Yes, that's so old. Yeah, it is old, but it's it's hilarious. Doesn't mean it can't be good. How I got a Chris for you uh, says uh, from XX Big J XX. How does CLG split the cost of trips for competitions? Like, how do uh... they do the money end of that? Do you if, know? Like if usually if the tournament doesn't sponsor it, then Hotshot will pay for all of it. I know that. CLG, so that's CLG. why he needs all those viewers. Yeah, he's just a ritzy baller, isn't he? Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. Should bug him again. Uh, tell him to get on here and explain how this works. Potential bachelor for those girls out there, Hotshot. He has a girlfriend. Or did he get rid of her? No. <laughs> <laughs> get rid of her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> he let her face check the bush, and then he didn't. I don't think support. they're together anymore. I really? Oh, I met her at MLG. That's a shame. Uh, was it the same girl at uh, IPL? Huh? Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't remember. No. No. He's like, I play League of Legends. Yeah. No. I don't really. No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> All Despite right. all this, he's actually a really nice guy. <laughs> Face check nice the bush. <laughs> 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 okay, it's kind of what I said, but yeah. So, oh, chat. Yeah, he face checked the bush. 
All right, so uh, Vanyol Gog. <laughs> Guys, get, get in chat. Uh, Vanyol, uh, get ready to give away uh, the first year IP. Uh, Phantom Lord, did you have uh, anything you wanted to say or add or join with your Have any other interesting lamp? news? Yeah, news. You know, next time you're going to, when you're on the show next week, you should just put the lamp there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like it. We'll troll the lamp. Um, <laughs> you got to move it when you talk, too. <laughs> no, uh, nothing really. Uh, um, just kind of let the community go. Uh, no, I guess as a sort of a heads up sneak peek, uh, a lot of the top teams have been on Skype calls with Riot and, and Matt, uh, Matt McCrew about Before the the, uh, the layout for season two tournaments. And there's going to be a lot of competition out there. It's going to be a lot of events. Um, I'm thinking about maybe doing one each month, like a major one each month. Um, nice. A lot of uh, regional, like land ones, you guys could maybe like show up to, driving wise, and then uh, that'll qualify you for points to, like say a national, and then maybe from a national to an international. international. So they're definitely looking into it with a lot of importance. And uh, those of you that want to get into the scene and want to uh, compete, um, not not where you think that you'll get destroyed by all the top teams. It's not going to be like that because since it's a point system, the top teams are going to be not as interested in these smaller LAN events right. and online mm-hmm. events. So it'll be more or less the uh, teams who. I just look at his camera and it starts to tilt and then boosh! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> I'll plan. I'll plan. Yes. Uh, I was I using can. the force from here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Doubt my powers, will you? Do you, do you Your closet's cats? awesome. Yeah. Nope. It's, it's very nice. Do you, Are all of those just shirts, or are there pants with those? No, they're just all shirts. shirts. All shirts. Do you have another closet just for pants? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice over there. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're about to give away the RP. Do you want to do another commercial? OP pants. Hmm? Do you want to do another commercial before we do that? Uh, sure. Um, let's do. Let's try for one commercial. I'm going to say do one commercial, and then we'll give away the RP. We're going to try for uh, one commercial. Uh, it'll be real fast, and we're going to give away the RP when we get back. So, uh, Vanuel, will uh, be ready and get in chat. Yes. Just, just be there. You don't have to say anything. Just kind of like join and yeah, yeah. Be yeah, merry, yeah. or be unpleasant and unhappy. It's well, really up to you. We'll just. I guess we'll talk through this little break since we're uh, 30 seconds. Yes, it's 30 second break. It's 30 second ad break. So, anyway, for the people that are watching the VOD that aren't going to get the commercial breaks, I don't think. Can they still hear us on the commercial? If they're if it's the commercial, no. Okay. Don't Jeez, please. I think I'm Unless they have ad block. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody's gonna be hearing us, and then they're gonna come back, and we'll be joining. Yeah. Favorite quote of the year. He face checked the bush. He face checked the bush. Oh, so right. I really want to. They, uh, they can still hear us. Yeah, I know. No. I know they What's can up? still hear you. The, oh god, I can't explain. It. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so this was a, actually something that I wanted to mention a couple episodes ago during Halloween. But we were driving to uh, a place that we were going to go <coughs> trick or treating at, and this dude just kind of comes out of the underbrush of some place, and. I commented to my wife, I said, what the hell is he doing in there? And she said, obviously he's face-checking the bush. I was just, I couldn't stop laughing, then I almost crashed the car. <laughs> wow, I'm glad I got such a great reception. Don't everybody <laughs> laugh <laughs> fucking once. Jesus. Tough crowd. Jesus. I did, sorry. What? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I wasn't paying any attention to you. Uh, I'll I'll right. last as much Failed. as I need to for that joke. All right. Yes, it will. Get- OP, keep getting the Pandora. Oh, well. Sorry, guys. Well, I should be back by now. Yeah. So, uh, Van, are you ready for that RP? <laughs> what? <sighs> I am. Just like, <laughs> a, just like as, soon as, as soon as I open it and just go... Mm, eh. Last chance, if you're not in chat, get your butt in here. It's, like, really easy. Right, under, right underneath Rebel, just hover your mouse over him, over his nose, and then right below that's a little chat button. Click on that. If you're too retarded to do that, I'm sorry you're not getting RP. <laughs> Please stay off of League of Legends then. <laughs> or maybe they just don't like Not chatting. that there's anything wrong with being retarded. I need to be political politi- <laughs> in case the FCC comes and all that stuff. I don't want to get, like, you know, protesters and 
everything coming down. Occupy, the occupy Van Vanyl's front yard. <laughs> occupy Vanyl. Occupy Vanyl. I have a cavity that you can occupy. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna touch that. <laughs> you, Jester. It's yours if you want it, Jester. No, all I wanted to do is drink. How many people, minions? How many people do I have in a? How many people do we have in a? Ninety-three. Ninety. Holy crap! Ninety-three. All right, good job, guys. All right, so uh, you this. ready for that, Vanyal? First winner is. Oh my gosh! It's like right in the middle again. Son of a. <laughs> <laughs> A hundred! We're, well, we're up to a hundred now. Straight up a hundred. You should just grab the scroll bar, scroll up and down a few times, point at the screen, and pick. Alright, that's what I'm gonna do. No. <laughs> the snuggles? Uh, Who the hell is the snuggles? I don't know. Ask them. Uh, the snuggles! Yeah, that's Type how you're it. supposed to say it. Type it. The snuggles. The snuggles. Uh, what'll happen to the snuggles is you'll get a private message snuggles, from our friend Banner here. And he will uh, link you the code. Yes, yes he will. Or you could let him say that because it will be like the fifth thing you said all day. Sixth. You know what I want to do one week? I'm just going <laughs> to yell. I'm just going to give the code out over the stream and whoever keys it in first <laughs> gets the RP. <laughs> That's harsh, dude. I'm thinking about it. I think it'd be awesome. No, yeah. no. See, what will happen is he'll just troll you because it'll, the code will be off by one letter and no one will, no one will be able to use it. Yeah, they'll give it to me. Yeah. It's the way it needs to be. <laughs> All right, so there we go. That's I gave away ten dollars. Hold on, I have another one here. Hey, look at that. We'll give that one away in a minute. Yeah, we'll give that one away. Um, last questions for Chowster. Chowster, do you have any questions for us by chance? Yeah, did you want to talk about anything? Shout out. Tell us about your yeah. awesome digs. Um, uh, I don't really. Know Can you cock your eyebrow? There you go. Can you do both eyebrows? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so random. Thank you. That was better than the question he asked Dyrus last week. <laughs> that is true. Yes. If you're a car, no, what kind not. of car would you be? <laughs> what kind of car would you be? So bad. Bad. Oh. What? Never mind. I would Never be an mind. Audi Never. TT Quattro dual turbo. How can the answer is that? It's what I would Anyways. be. It's fast, Anyways. it's cool, and I can do a timing belt on it in four hours or less. Yeah, Chester, what? Like, yeah, any questions? Any questions? Ah, oh, I don't really have any questions off the top of my head. He's like, no, no, I'm good. Jeez. We come on here, we plans? have plenty of questions for you, and we ask you for a question, you just can't give us one. Fine, fine, whatever. Any exciting Much things love coming it. up? Anything cool? Things? Uh, I don't think so. Soon we'll uh, see the smoke team, rising. CD, uh, WCG, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say this. But WCG <laughs> sending two teams to Korea for US. Nice. Oh, everyone knows about it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this has been talked about, but I'm, yeah, that's that's kind of interesting. Like, I'm excited to go to. Don't worry. Saints at least uh, leaked it. So. No man, if you read if you read how he leaked it, it says, "Oh, Chowster said this," and then <laughs> he trolled, and then that's why it's like, "Oh shit!" It all comes back to me. So. <laughs> That's how it really actually is. If you watch, the, if you reread the screenshot, the first thing that says is Chowster's troll. Is Chowster's troll? He said we're going to Korea, and like I wasn't even sure at the time. But I'm supposed to say anything. That's what happened. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's all good. I think everyone kind of figured that would be the best way to make. <laughs> like honestly, when they were better. discussing, they were discussing it, and I was like, No, that doesn't make any sense. Why the hell would they send two teams just because you guys fucked up? Like it still doesn't make any sense to me. But like if you guys are gonna do it. I'm not gonna argue. Like, yeah, you yeah. Send us Korea, go ahead. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna turn down a free Korea trip, even though I think it's not. Like, not the solution. Isn't it like odd amount of teams now? Like, how are they gonna yeah. do the brackets with, with I, the extra I don't team? know. I don't know, but I think they might just have us play Dignitas like in a grudge match, and then whoever wins that goes on to WCG. Maybe. Interesting. That's what I heard once from someone. I don't know who, so it's probably not accurate, <laughs> but it could be. So. Sounds, it potentially sounds like it could be correct. Don't let people troll you. People want me that to stop like smiling. Work. <clears throat> I look like a serial killer instead. Why does so. that move? <clears throat> what? Nothing. Who moved? Nothing. You're good. Go. Alrighty. Alrighty then. Um. Yeah, I'm suddenly 
done. Because Vangel, right. Vangel totally destroyed my train of thought when I read when I read what I thought he said was, I ate a turkey baster. <laughs> 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 and I was like, what? And then I had to read it a couple more times. You ate a turkey, but you, just, you, know, you read that incorrectly. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, we have hell, a question of uh, Someone liked the joke. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God the air conditioning's on in here. It's really hot. Dude. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, all this laughing. Jester, is there anything going on with you? Yeah, Jester, anything what do you got going on? Not MLG. No. Oh. Nice, oh. nice synchronous there. That was good. That was good. Uh, I don't know, just playing around with open beta. I mean, there's no more Rampage, I'm done the Han casting, there's no law casting that I know of, or anyone asked me about. So, I don't know, I guess just going around with these Masteries, still doing the Summoner Support Series with AJ, uh, which is that person. We just did two more episodes today, it was fun time. So how's uh, that going? I, I guess it's just going to be a lot more, you know, fun stream stuff, and casting with the open beta just to keep testing it out. Cool. Nothing cool. big and official or anything. No. All Sad. right. Uh, before uh, Vaniel gives out his last RP, I would go for uh, Phantom Lord. Would it, any uh, shout outs? Shout outs or closing arguments or um, I'm cross examination. I'm always first. Fuck. All right. All right. You'll go second. Um, all right. No, Phantom no, no, Lord, I'm go. Just, I'm just trolling. I'm trolling. <laughs> um, well, guys, if you have any last questions to ask me on IRC, feel free to do so. Uh, but of course, as always, I like to thank uh, my community, little community, little fan base that have been following me since day one. I know I haven't been streaming a lot lately. It's sort of been like a mini vacation, uh, leading a team and doing all the stuff that I've been doing with the holiday season and having a retail job is sort of stressful. So uh, Skyrim, of course, has helped out with that a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I thank you guys yeah. for your patience. <laughs> As I'm going to be, of course, when this all settles down, going back into full, uh, full like two, three, four days straight streaming, uh, just so like you gets to be a piece of shit. And, and I agree. Not fun after a while. Yeah. <laughs> um, too many people like crying to get first place, and it's it's not even that important because everyone fluctuates up and down the page. And I think now, like I've. I've I haven't played, so I got like kicked down the second page, but whatever. But yeah, thanks to you guys who've been uh, patient and watching me, and uh, I'm glad I can entertain you guys. Yeah, man. Have we had a well. uh, question for all of us, but I'm gonna let uh, Chalster on this one. Is Flash still viable? Yes, with Flash the is still viable. I'm going with that. Yeah. Yeah. Of course it is. Of course. How did the effect? How did the change affect like how you use it? Are you using it any differently, or is it just the same yeah, thing? Yeah, it's exactly the same. It's just the range is shorter. Does it still go over that's, walls? That's... I hadn't had a chance to try it out yet. So yeah, um, walls, okay. yeah. pretty sure you can go over the same walls you could before. Just sometimes, like now, you can't go over like the really thick ones. Unless yeah. you're like right next to it. Like bottom bottom right lane, bottom lane. I'm pretty sure some people are going to like fuck up really hard these next days. Well, it is the we were like, oh, I can flash this. I can flash that. Like, yeah, it's the same thing that happened last time with the cleanse change. Yeah. Like, like, oh, the flash yeah. change before when they popped the projectiles. Like, I died all day because I was like, I'm popping this projectile. I'm flashing, and I kept dying because the projectile, the projectile just kept coming. Well, they nerfed the range on flash too once before, and then they just nerfed it even more this time. So yeah, they nerfed the they I mean, nerfed the flash range. Flash used to be able to flash like, like, like man, used to be able to flash so far away. Yeah, they just flash like half the screen, and then they they made it so that oh, it's gonna go like half the range now, but the cooldowns lowered, and then now then they're like oh, since it's so short now, we're gonna make it pop projectiles, and then they made it so that it doesn't pop projectiles. Hmm. And then they made like cleanse, they made it so that oh, cleanse cleanses everything, and they're like okay, cleanse doesn't cleanse ignite and exhaust anymore, and now it's like cleanse exhaust cleanse cleanses ignite and exhaust again. So they're just going like back and forth, back and forth. The same shit all over again. Now say that five times fast. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I thought about it. No. <laughs> all right, doll. Uh, I like how they're just opening up more. Uh, again, diversity. Wow, that was loud. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Anytime, Jester. You want to just bring that in. You are married, you know. What? what? It's I Jester's know. Just, yeah. 
interruptions. What? All, all right, the time. sorry, Phantom, go. This we is, love you. This is, this is going to kill. Raw. <laughs> <laughs> no. <sighs> uh, no, I just like how they're making uh, more options available for players to do different things. Uh, that whole surge spell is cool. I think it's like the it's the the, the basic of the inner ignites where you're gonna be able to output that damage with. We're replacing Ignite through your abilities, and I don't know, I think that's cool, because sometimes Ignite isn't the uh, best option to get the killing blow, because it doesn't do the damage as fast when you can use it through your abilities through search, so. I like how they change Flash, I'm sick of it, because of course my Karthus, you know, don't yeah. Flash. Screw it! Which I haven't <laughs> been able to try yet, so I don't know if it's still viable. I know it's still viable, but it's not as effective. Surge, we figured it all out with the death cap and uh, and full like AP masteries and and uh, everything. It they, we figured it out. It would probably give you around like 120 AP when you popped it. So it's a pretty good chunk, especially if you're Carthage. You need a little bit extra damage for that ulti. Just pop surge, pop the ulti, and you're good. Um, yeah. I think that another damage ability to kind of go along with Ignite was something that the game needed because everyone going Ignite, Ignite's kind of boring. Yeah, so. that kind of leads into the the question that has apparently been spammed quite a bit was uh, since we have the two pros here, how do you think that these new summoner skills will, will it heavily change the gameplay and will higher ELO players be choosing different summoner skills then? Or do you think they'll just be kind of sticking with the same old, same old for, you know, safety in knowing its sake? I feel like the biggest change is for the AD carries bottom lane. Like, um, there's almost no reason. Like, if if they take exhaust and you take cleanse, it's you're basically saying basically the cleanse is way better because you can cleanse CCs and you can cleanse the exhaust. Yeah. So it's it's kind of an advantage there. And you can also take surge now. Like depending, like now people are like, oh, I don't even know what summoners are gonna run. Maybe now some now summoners can actually have an effect. On like bottom lane, they're like, I don't know if he's gonna run surge, exhaust, or cleanse, because you can't cleanse a someone that's surged, but you can exhaust them. But then, what if he takes cleanse? Like, you know what I mean? So it's just like there's like a little mind game going on there. Mm. But for the other part, like I don't even know how promote's going to work. I don't know if it's viable. I haven't seen it. And other than that, I think it's gonna be the same. Mainly the bottom support is gonna change it up. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to how it changes and everything, especially since it was like pushed on everyone so fast. It, it, there's going to be some really interesting gameplay going on in these next few weeks. Yeah. yeah. In, in the summary, next week's show will be able to provide more input as more. to much how it's much more yeah, much more. So uh, as to how it's kind of playing out. Yeah. So Vaniel, <laughs> you ready? Point, click, roll around, and. Kick your monitor. Well, how, I, I, I don't know. People are asking me to just type the code in, and whoever puts it in first wins. I no, mean, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Some people that's have scripts fair. for that. That's not fair. Yeah. All right, all right. Randomize it, my man. All right. You should spin around, spin around in your chair. <laughs> spin around in your chair. Yeah, spin around in your chair until you can't you figure out where your monitor is. Does that look? Does that look bad? Yeah. <laughs> is, it that, is it that long, bro? <laughs> you know, people pay other people for that kind of service. <laughs> uh, all right. I have, I have Conine seven o two. Conine seven o two. K O N I N G seven o two. Congratulations, Congrats. sir. And. You have 702 after your name, so I kind of hope that you're from Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> then he can hand it to you in person. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. All right, congratulations, guys. Uh, if you guys want to give some closing shout-outs before we end tonight's awesome show. I had fun. Chowster, did you have fun? Um, yeah, I had fun. Just give a quick shout-out to, like, Steel Gaming fans. Uh, I have a channel on IRC, Pound Chowster. And I'd like to give a shout-out to Missy, number one supporter in North America. <laughs> <laughs> very nice, very nice. We had her on the show a few weeks ago. Shout it was a good time. Yeah. How about you, fan? I'm sorry. Shout-out to my brother for this delicious drink. <laughs> yeah, man. I give a, You're still uh, nursing it. 
Hey, it's this. I mean, I can't chug it on a show. I need to be somewhat <laughs> lucid. <laughs> yeah. The show's pass. over, Stay dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chewie wants to give uh, your wife a a shout out. Keeping mm -hmm. for keeping you alive. Good work. <laughs> Good job, wife. Yeah, so I would like to give a shout out to my wife who I understand. who <laughs> ran to the back door right as that noise happened. So she was on top of things, and we still don't know what that noise was. And it seems to have stopped. So, I will live for another day. <laughs> yes. That's a good Lucky thing, guys. right? Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is good. So. All right, I hope everybody Damn. had fun. Vaniel, you don't get a shout-out because you're just awesome. You don't need a shout-out. That's out. my shout-out to you. <laughs> yes! I am number one. <laughs> that's how you intro the show, and now that's how you're ending the show. No, yes. no, 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 no. Consistency. I, I would Consistency. Like to give a shout. I would like to give a shout-out to my wife, who is at work right now. Uh, earning some extra money so that to feed her shopping addiction. <laughs> you mean your shopping addiction? No, her shopping addiction because I spend too much money on RP. <laughs> and I don't have enough money for her. So uh, that and I have a job interview tomorrow. So Good luck, man. Everyone wish me luck. Congrats. Luck. Absolutely. More money. More money w means more RP. Just remember that. So where do we spam to get you the job? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. I just yeah. have an interview tomorrow, and uh, hopefully I'll find out by the end of the week uh, if I got it or not. That's a lot of RP, right? Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah, that's a bunch of cards. Sir. Is that spent or unspent RP? Oh, this is all spent RP. I got my little. Is it fifty-two card pickup I... or something larger? Hold on, do you want me to count them? I'll count no, them. No, don't count them. No, we don't have to count them. Be here a while, guys. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, well, I guess we'll wrap it up now as much as I hate to. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Thank you very much, Chowster, for joining us. I uh, yeah, hope you had fun. fun. And uh, give a fun. last shout-out. Uh, see us again next week, same time, same place. Yep. Uh, we Tell do your a show, see it, and uh, see you next week. Yep. Have a good night. Bon voyage. I'll be the same. And, and. <laughs> <laughs>